Hello, babe. When do you say you will come back? By next week, baby. You miss me? Yes, I miss you so much. Please come back. Alright, I'll come back very soon. Hope you will give me a kiss when I come. Yes, I'll do it. Wow, so I'm expecting a hot kiss from you when I return. What kind of kiss will I get? French kiss, Italian kiss, American kiss or Chinese kiss? You are very funny. Me, I don't know all these kiss you are talking about. It is Nigerian kiss I will give you. <laughs> Nigeria kiss? No, Allah. Just keep it, cha. Oh, I wish you have a very good phone. We would have done a video call. I need to see those serious, sexy pictures of yours. <laughs> This my journey eh? You can blow big grammar. Come on baby, I forgot to tell you that I graduated from Harvard University with professorial degree. <laughs> Don't worry, when I return, I will teach you some vocabularies, heavy ones. Wow, I am very happy. I want to learn how to be speaking big big grammar. Don't worry sugar, I will teach you everything teachable including the subjects they call bedmatics. <laughs> Have you heard about such before? Wow. That's my smart student. <laughs> what are you doing here? I came to get my babies. You must be out of your mind, Alfred. Listen, don't let Gerard meet you here. Leave this place right now. And if I don't, listen, I'm not scared of Gerard. I just came here to get my babies, that's all. Alfred, get out of this place. You don't have any baby here. Says who? Alfred, you are crossing boundaries. It is against the law to go to people's house and harass them. In fact, you don't know it is also against the law to give someone's child to another. You lie, Alfred. I don't have your child anywhere with me. You cheated on me, even went further, by asking me to live your life. Why then are you coming back to ask for a baby? Did you give me any baby to keep for you? Oh yes, the one I kept inside your room. Give them to me and I'll stop bothering you. You know what? Get out of my house now. Baby, I'll be going back to the city tomorrow. Ah, quick, quick. No now. Stay small. You say you will stay one week if you come back. Yes, I said so. But my plans just changed. I got a business call last night which I have to attend to latest on Friday. So I will have to leave tomorrow being Thursday. Oh, I am sad. I am tired of living my life only me. Okay, would you like to go with me? Oh yes, thank you very much. I am so happy. Okay, you are a very lucky girl because I will take you to the city and show you the world. Thank you so much. I love going to the city. Where do you live? I live in Atlantic Lagos. Uh-uh. I know Lagos. I have even gone there before, but I have not gone to Atlantic Lagos before. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll take you to Atlantic Lagos. You see, there is a difference between Lagos and Atlantic Lagos. Atlantic Lagos is a luxurious city located at the center of Atlantic Ocean. The only houses you see there are skyscrapers. Hey, I am so happy. Please take me to DLO. Alice, you will enjoy yourself. Eh, me living inside skyscraper. Jumbo, why is everyone just talking about you in this school? That's simply because there is record I have broken in this school. You see, when someone breaks Guinness Book of Record, the whole world talks about that person. I have broken a record in this school. Therefore, people should talk about me. I am enjoying the thing. What record did you break? Because I am been in this school and I haven't seen you won any award or trophy before. You are only known for mischievous things. <laughs> so you think award and trophy are breaking records? Okay, if it is so, why is everyone not talking about Edet that always gets the award of the most smartest boy? Why are they not talking about Bassett, the best athlete we have in this school? that has won several trophies. Perpetua, I am not your regular guy. I am spectacular. That's why everyone is talking about me. Which kind of nonsense spectacular? You that always cause nuisances in this school. I know why people are talking about you because you are teaching other students how to gamble with their snacks money. You want to turn this school into a gambling arena. Don't worry, very soon, the school authority will come for you. <laughs> I beg. See me see jealousy. Who be the school authority? In case you don't know, I am among the, the pioneers of this school. Now we be the cabals where they this school. Carry your busy body. Go pack one side job. Enemies of progress. I don't even like you again. Janice, did you withdraw money with my card today? Yes, I did. Why didn't you tell me you wanted to use my card? Must I tell you before purchasing things that are necessary in this house? I gave you some money a few days ago. Why didn't you use that money? The money you gave me was for my hair. Janice, this should be the last time you use my card without informing me. I won't take it next time. So because I withdrew little money from your account to buy some stores for your children. That is why you are raging like a wounded lion. Hmm. I'm just realizing that you are more selfish than I thought. 
What did you just see, Janice? Am I the one you're talking to like that? Yes, you heard me. You are so selfish. You don't even want me and my babies to enjoy a bit of your money. Don't worry. Soon we will leave this house for you. You will enjoy your money alone. But how did she get to know your card pin? I don't even know. I guess she got the pin the day we both went together to withdraw money from an ATM machine. <clears throat> just change your card pin and be more careful with your card henceforth. Exactly, that's what I will do. I will manage myself. Make any woman who can't wreck me. Oh. <laughs> My bros, they fear. Oh. Abi, oh. who no fear women? <laughs> yes, so after fearing God, fear women. They can make you trek to your village. <laughs> Don't be lying, my brother. Women, eh? They're strong, go. Was it not last week that a colleague in our office was narrating how a woman made him train two kids for five years, unknowing to him that they weren't his biological kids? You mean he was training those children without knowing they were not his biological children? Yeah, so the guy alive don't scatter since then. He hasn't even come out from the trauma yet. Hmm, if any woman tried to nonsense with me, I'll kill her before I kill myself. Is this the skyscraper that he's taking me to? Which kind of house is this that they use patch patch planks to build? Hmm. Maybe here is his workshop. I'm not sure we are in his house. Babe, I have ordered for noodles and bread for you. So you will go have your bath now. Okay, thank you. Where is the bedroom? If you go outside, just go straight, then turn by your left. You will see an uncompleted building. Pass the building and go behind the building. You will see a small bachelor room inside the bush. That's where you will bathe. Bedroom inside bush? Why? No ask me that kind of question. Just go and bath. You're smelling. I hate bad odors inside my room. Ah uh ah. -uh. Johnny, why will you say that kind of thing to me? Sorry about that, but I hate it when people ask me stupid questions. I am giving you the direction. Go and bathe. Okay. Where will I get soap and water? Carry bucket outside and fetch water from the well. The well is just close to the uncompleted building. As for soap, my bathing soap is finished. It is detergent that I am using for now. You will see the detergent outside. Use and bath. Ah, detergent to bath. Um, um. Alice, no more questions from you. Just go and breathe. Okay. Gerard, I don't want us to be like cat and rats in this house. Our conversations hasn't been like before. I'm no longer feeling loved in this relationship. It is either we settle this beef or we both go our separate ways instead of deceiving ourselves. Janice, you are the one that doesn't want peace in this relationship. So far, I have tried my best to make you happy, but you keep bringing quarrel and fights to the table all the time. I'm sorry about that, but I felt you never loved me. That was why I was putting up those attitudes to see your true nature. The Rim is a very easygoing person. Yeah, that's who you used to be until you suddenly changed. Alright, let's bury the hatchet. You know I'm a woman and every woman deserves an honor from the man she wishes to spend the rest of her life with. And that's the honor of matrimony. If I were your sister, would you allow me to live with a man who hasn't paid my bread price? Answer me, Gerard. No, I won't. But if it's a case where my sister is already pregnant out of wedlock, I would allow her to stay with the guy while I keep persuading both she and the guy to do the rightful thing. Perfect answer. So you see, it was just what I was doing. Asking you to do the right thing, but you wouldn't listen to me. Father, you choose to listen to your friends, whose, whose advice kept tearing our relationship apart. Reason this yourself. Why are you asking me to remove my clothes? Ah, uh, you be small picking. So you want me to be watching you like film? So what do you want to do to me? <laughs> See question no. Don't worry. Remove your clothes and just be watching me. You will soon understand what's going on. I don't want to remove my clothes this night. I like to sleep with my clothes. <laughs> you don't want yourself. How can you be with a man in a room and you be sleeping on clothes? Come on, behave yourself. Johnny, this is not good. Allow me to rest now. This is the first day. I just come today. Tomorrow you can do it now. Which tomorrow? You must be a joker. Madam, cooperate or else I will have you to use force on you. Johnny, leave me alone. This is not fair. I want to sleep. Hey, madam. Gerard, what's up now? Hey, mister. I'm fine. How you day? I did fine, oh. Where are you heading to? I'm going to the market to get some things. Wow, big woman. Now you definitely Gerard money. Anything for the boys? Ha 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 ha. Nothing for now. But one of these days, I'm invited to come over for a nice dinner. Wow, you want to throw a dinner party for us? <laughs> Not a party. Just a family dinner. Okay, no wala, I will come. Do you have my number? No, boy, get Gerard has it. Okay now, just get my number from him and call me on that day. <laughs> Alright, I will. How are your bouncing baby boys? Hope that Colomita Gerard don't kick out for now. <laughs> my babies are fine. As for the cow, we don't mind about it. We are okay.
You dey why me? Which one is we are okay? Tell him to kill cow for you, Joe. Better still, you should kill it on that very day. I will be coming so that you prepare cow meat, pepper soup for me. <laughs> All right, I've heard you.